Good day, friends. I hope you're doing well. It's Frankie Rose. Welcome to my channel. Today, I thought we could talk about monkeys who turn six tomorrow, June 24th, and needs to be home with his family who love and miss him. Michael Joseph Vaughn went missing from his house in Fruitland on the evening of June 27th, 2021. His family is still hoping, although the Fruitland Police Department hasn't been able to locate Michael for almost a year, there is still hope that he can come home safely. Five-year-old Michael, whose nickname is Monkey, was last seen on July 27th near his home in Fruitland, Idaho, Idaho police have left no stone unturned since his abduction. He's an energetic, young, blonde hair, blue-eyed boy who enjoys camping, monster trucks, cars, playing in the dirt, and he especially loves his little sister, Aria, says Michael's mom, Brandy Neal. She added that after Michael went missing from the family home, she could barely watch the construction nearby. It made her heart ache for Michael. They'd been doing road construction down Highway 33. I just sat there and watched all the trucks. He would have been over the moon, she said. Michael had been in the family's living room playing on his Nintendo the day he disappeared. Brandy said at 6.40 p.m., Michael's dad, Tyler Vaughn, went to check on Aria in her bedroom and order a pizza. It took about 15 to 20 minutes. When he came back, Michael was gone. Brandy said neighbors had witnessed Michael knocking on doors just before he disappeared. She can't really explain why he was doing that other than he is a friendly child. The community came out to look for Michael that night, Brandy said. Residents lined the streets and police were in the farming fields next to her house, relentlessly combing the area. Drones took footage from the air. According to police update in 2021, in the weeks long search, Agencies used scent tracking dogs, drones, helicopters, a dive team, even paragliders. When the scent dogs did their search, according to Brandy, they were able to track Michael's scent and it led to the end of their street, away from the farm fields to the right of the house and abruptly stopped. In a press conference held on November 19th, Fruitland Police Chief J.D. Huff said there is an increased probability Michael was abducted, in large part because the agency has made no headway in the ground searches. More than a dozen law enforcement organizations, including the FBI, worked together to search three thousand acres of property in rural western Idaho, 29 miles of riverbank, they checked drain canals, and hundreds of security cameras. On May 20th, 2022, the Fruitland Police Department, or FPD, issued an update on the investigation into Michael's disappearance. Michael's family has been working closely with the police and have been complying with all investigative requests. Jennifer Koffendoffer is a retired FBI agent who consulted the media during the Bureau's widely publicized investigation into the death of Gabby Petito. She told the Idaho Press in a phone interview that she believes Michael is one of the very small percentage of children
who are subjected to stranger abductions, which, according to Jennifer Koffendoffer, is about 4%. I believe over 60, 62% of stranger abductions occur right by the residents, Jennifer Koffendoffer said. According to FPD, approximately 850 leads were collected and the reward for Michael's safe return has done nothing but keep increasing. The FPD said most of the leads on Michael's disappearances, sorry, disappearance was cleared. A proposed law inspired by the case of Michael or Monkey established an endangered missing persons alert, EMPA, to warn individuals in Idaho and neighboring states of a missing person, but Amber Alerts would still continue to function independently. An Amber Alert was never issued for Monkey. Now, he went home from his, or sorry, he disappeared from his home, coming up on a year, and there have been many concerns from the community, including Michael's parents. According to FPD, mass exposure in these sorts of situations will increase the likelihood of a successful recovery. I don't know. They do not use Amber Alerts. This is probably, in my mind, one of the very few actual child abductions that have happened, and there has been no Amber Alert. It's very, very disturbing. <laughs> Brandy Neal and the rest of the Vaughn family are still concerned about Michael. He is still missing, and authorities have been unable to locate him, even after extensive searches. The family are actively posting on the Michael Vaughn Fruitland Community Missing Child Search Facebook page. There are also countless postings on Twitter. People have begun to use the hashtag, hashtag Michael Vaughn on Twitter to expand the reach of the message. Despite the almost year-long search, the Vaughn family is hopeful that he is going to be found and be reunited with the family. He was only five, and just about a year ago, the family needs this little boy home. Since his disappearance, his parents have been trying everything they can do to find him. They are continuously making unending efforts to reach out to individuals and inform them about Michael. Michael's siblings, including his sister and brother, are also missing him. More than anything else, it's a waiting game, and it's making for long days and long nights. His parents have said they are appreciative of everyone's prayers, nice comments, and sharing of his picture. Every small step that can be done might be the step to bring Michael home. Brandy Neal holds up a picture of five-year-old Michael after an interview in the home in Fruitland. This picture seems to have been posted by an agency because it's after, I cannot, sorry, I cannot find out exactly who to give that credit to. Six years old tomorrow, anyone with any other information is urged to contact the Fruitland Police Department at 208-642-6006, extension zero, or contact the department through its tip line at findmichael at fruitland.org. There's also the Facebook page, Michael Vaughn Fruitland Community Missing Child Search. So I am shooting this video on the 23rd, and I am hoping to have it out later today. Michael's birthday is tomorrow, and 
it would be really nice if we can all just kind of concentrate on his birthday and getting more of this message out. I believe Michael can be, be home. So please share this as much as you can. Share anything you see on little Michael. Let's get his face out there as much as we can and see if we can't bring this adorable little boy home and give this family some peace. So for now, friends, I am going to leave it there. I will, I'm going to try and find out a little bit more information and maybe I can get something else out to you later on today. So for now, friends, thank you ever so much for spending this time with me. I truly appreciate you. On your way out, if you don't mind hitting that subscribe and share button, it will help me with all of YouTube's algorithms. And yeah, that's all I ask. So for now, have a great day. I appreciate you. I will see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye.